Hi guys, what's up? Nerf World Flames here, and today I'm with my friend Isaac. Hi. And we are going to be doing which spring power Nerf gun out of these is the best. I will get to them in a sec. Okay, first we're going to start with the Night Finder. This had incredible ranges in 2004, better than most of the 2008-2009 guns. Its paint job is really good, and the plunger tube inside, which makes it go, is really good. If you take out the air structures, it goes really far. And it has that little light thing too. It's kind of like the, it's kind of like the grandfather of the fire strike. So that's all I have to say about this gun. What do you think you have to say about this gun? Well, it shoots really far, so if you try to shoot about... 30 feet? 20 feet? 20 feet, they could, it could probably shoot. Yeah. It could probably shoot from one side of a, of a football field to, a no, to the other. Well, not that far. I'd say about... I'd say about, about 30 feet maximum if you take out the air restrictors. Now, on to the next gun. Alright, next we have the Rough Cut 2 times 4 A lot of people may be surprised that I'd put this in one of the best. I can't blame you. Its AR restrictions are terrible, but I find it a really good gun. The full name is Rough Cut 2 times 4 There's 8 chambers and it's 2 at a time with the shotgun. It's a shotgun class. So you can just do... And that goes. So, um... Yeah, um, I, I'd get, probably say that would that would reach about 40 feet, usually. And, um, yeah, it's, um, it's a really good paint job. It's got, like, two things that could hold, like, a, um, Mastodon bandolier. If you know what the Mastodon is, it's a new Nerf gun. Okay, now on to the next gun. Okay, now on to the Nerf strong arm. The strong arm is really good. It has six bullets, it's a rotating barrel. The paint job is awesome, it shoots 90 feet. Um, it, it's very good at the pullback, it's kind of like the son of the, of the Maverick, which is from 2004-2003, which is very good. And, um, I'd say it's really good. What do you have to say about it? Well, it's really good because if you're in a battle with it, you can shoot two more bullets and you might actually win against yeah. the other person. If the person has four bullets or something and like a small pistol, it's very good. Now, on to the next. Okay, next gun, the double strike. This is very really good. It's, um, sure the bullets pop out, but this goes really good ranges. It's better than the rough cut in some standards. It's small, it's easier to use. The bullets don't fall out as much as the rough cut. And it's got a powerful spring. The paint job, again, is amazing. And... I like the way they did the handle, and I like the way they did the barrels. And there's a little stock attachment here, where you could fit a sniper, but they usually don't fit on well. It looks pretty goofy. What do you have to say about this blaster? Well, it's really good if you're in a battle with a regular person who has only one bullet. But yeah. if you have, if someone like strong arm. You probably lose, so it's good and bad. Or if you shot this, you can just use it with one hand. You don't need to do, like, pop it in, shoot, and then pop another bullet in, shoot. It's really good. Now on to the best for last. You'll see it in a sec. Okay, I said the best for last, the Nerf Raider. You may have thought it was a Rampage, depending on, like, how they, they usually look. And this is a Nerf Raider from 2008. I've had this since I was, been, I was like, three or four. And it's really, really good. It's, like... It's really easy to use, it barely jams. And you can just do this, which is slam fire. And I'd, I'd say it's really good. The paint stays on after quite a lot of time. And it's easy to pull back and pull forward. The, a stock comes with it, which I don't have at the moment. And all that you need to do to re unload it is pull the, pu thing, pull the thing back. Take it out like that and reload and put it back. Now, what do you have to add to this? Isaac, what do you have to add to this? You have to add on this. No, what do you have to like add? What do you like about it? Uh, well, you, c well, it's really good because if you jump and you jump down, yeah, you get, you c and you you're still in the air. You can shoot down at someone even if they 
aren't look even if they are looking at you, they can't shoot back because they're, you keep on going down, they can't get you. And then you okay. can, and okay. then when you jump to the ground, you shoot. It's also very good because you can pick the way you want, pick um, where you want your scope to be, for example. You can have it at the front, or you can have it on the back. And if you ever want to change, you can just slide it across with, without, um, without taking it off. So you can slide the slide. And slide okay now on to our results we'll think about it now okay me and isaac have came to a conclusion third place goes to the raider it does jam a bit and um it is not too great when trying to slam fire with the modern day bullets but i'd say it's pretty good second place goes to the rough cut i know it isn't it doesn't have a place in everyone's hearts but this is just such a good gun for me the slam fire two and number one the strong arm this is the best spring pistol of all time the reason why is you got six bullets it's barely ever jams it's a lot better than maverick in every single dimension it comes out it's easier to reload it does that cool western thing and it's just overall great I just, I just, I just can't get over this gun, how good it is. Three, two, one. It's just so good. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I, um, please leave a like and subscribe for my longest videos so far. Please, um, please share this video and, um, like it too. Goodbye.